people living in the British colonies never saw themselves as anything but British. Uh, they were British citizens who just happened to live in the colonies in the Americas. Uh, because of this, they uh, felt that they had the rights of Englishmen, and it's actually written into most of their charters that they had the rights of Englishmen. This means that their beliefs for politics and for their rights were uh, based on basically two major documents. The first was the Magna Carta, and the second was the English Bill of Rights. In the Magna Carta, which goes back a few hundred years at this point, the uh, Magna Carta recognized the right of the people to uh, have representation uh, approve of any taxes that were levied against them, which means if there's going to be a new tax, they had to have uh, their representatives vote on it. The Magna Carta also protected people's rights through a jury of peers, which means uh, the people that were like them and around them could have a say on whether they were guilty or innocent in a trial. The basis of this is a uh, notion of the rule of law. Now, the rule of law simply means that everybody in the society, even the king himself, was subject to the same law. He was subject to the same crimes and punishment expectations as every other citizen. This means that the laws had to be clear, they had to be fairly enforced, and they had to be well understood by everybody in society. So there was a lot of political expectations here. The English Bill of Rights continued and reaffirmed the rights of uh, taxation only with representation and the jury of peers. Uh, it also came up with the concept that the king needed to be limited by a parliament, which means a legislative body. Uh, and important for our uh, society is that it also affirmed an idea of uh, religious freedom. The important thing to remember is that the colonies all felt that parliament, the, the main governing body of the British Empire, uh, because it did not have American representatives in it, it was only the Brit people in the British island, did not truly represent the American colonies. It was the colonial assemblies that had the power to approve their taxes and the power to uh, uh, control the, uh, the rule of law.